Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Physio organizational charts. We are going to look at a basic organizational chart and how to use the synchronized copy feature. So first of all, I'm going to select the executive belt and format this shape. So if I double click to give it a title, call this one director and put my name in there. And then if I click on it and get myself a picture, so I've right clicked, change picture, put a little photograph in there. All the shapes you can edit in that way. So there's a photograph, there's the title, there's my name. And as with all visual shapes, if I right click and go into shape data, you can see that there are some preset fields there. And if I put finance, at the top there, so finance department um, 0191, something like that. Email steve at abc.com, and then I've got the option to add extra fields. So if I right click again, I can go data, define shape data, and click on new so I could delete some of these if I didn't want them like calendar for example if I didn't want calendar so to add a new one click on new give it a name so I'll call this um, date due to leave and I'll need to set that to a date field so say this is a contract organizational chart and there's end dates to the contract uh, click OK to that and then that field becomes active and if I click into it I can then select a date say the 3rd of July now that's adding shape data and editing shape data all of the shapes I can do that too now if I bring on a manager let's say I bring on a manager you just drag and drop on top of the shape above if you drop it too short um, it's not part of this structure so I drop it on top of it and the shape snaps out underneath and then I can fill in all this information in the same way that I just filled the director in. Now if I want more than one shape I don't really want to be pulling one shape on at a time I can do this I can go to multiple shapes drop that on the top level and select manager and say I want two managers click OK and then I get my set of three managers. Now, as I come down, I want multiple shapes onto each of these. So if I drop this is same position, say I want four people coming out of there, and they come out below. Do the same one on the middle guy. So I'm just going to have two. Two people come out underneath. And lastly, we'll have four again on the right-hand guy. Now these have all defaulted to hang right coming from the management level but if you don't want it to do that you can click on that shape. Make sure you're on the organizational tab, organizational chart tab and then layout in the left hand corner you can change the layout to suit whichever style you prefer. So I'm just changing all of these to be the same. So as long as you're on the management level, that will affect anything attached below. Now the synchronized copy feature is this. If I select the management level on this side and create a synchronized copy, it's asking me to go to a new page or an existing page. I don't have any existing pages, so it's a new page option for me. Click OK to that. It just duplicates on a different page what what was on this page. Now I would be able to right click on this one now, right click and go to subordinates and hide subordinates and you get, I get a little icon underneath that shows me that there's something there. If I go to page two I can see all of this. Now the synchronized issue is this. Page one, if I just expand that again, show subordinates. If I add a shape onto page one, 
another shape so I'll just get a position so now I've got five shapes I've gone on to a second page on the synchronized page I still only have four shapes so it's not adding extra shapes that's synchronized the feature that's synchronized is this if I double click onto this top one and type training and then let's give this guy a name um, Miss White and then if I click off that for a second and go back to the first page and scroll up to the top you can see what I've typed on the synchronized copy has come through onto this page it's the information that is synchronized not the actual shape or adding shapes it's the information so if I just right click on there and just hide that again you can see that so if this is the training department and if I just bring this down a little bit to make it smaller so we can see everything I could double click on the page and just call that training and if I double click on page one and call that management what would normally happen is on the management page you would create synchronized copies for each department a new page and then do the same synchronize copy new page and then on the management page each of these would be hidden right. and then whatever the department is if I put this down as um, title going to be sales and then name Mr. Black and then if I do the page number as sales and then this one I'll do as retail and retail and Mr. or Mrs. White so that is the synchronized part of this so all that information has come through onto the main management sheet so that's the synchronized copy now a couple of other features we can use I'm just going to zoom this down a little bit uh, this team frame feature so I'm going to create a manager bring a manager onto the screen I'm going to maybe move this across a little bit so there's a manager line it up with the guides and give him three positions coming out underneath and let's say this is a, a particular team so I'm going to use a team frame feature to put that around this team just make it cover the whole team and let's say these are contractors and they report directly into the director so I'm going to go back to home use my connector tool and come from the side of this one straight into the main man like so knock that off now the, the arrow is pointing the wrong way so I just need to change that around so it points that way and I'm going to change the color to red and I'm going to change the weight to a thicker line and I'm going to put dashes on it so that is a dotted line feeding directly into the director now if I just go back onto training or one, any one of these really there's another feature that you can use which is called a container so if I highlight all of these and then right click I have the container feature I'm just going to click add to new container and then I've basically put all of these into a box which I can move around and I've got different format options at the top there to format this container if I need to break this container I can just disband it and add extra features in there or I can lock it and it's totally up to me but the whole point of this is to allow you to move groups of shapes around together in a container as it's named so that's the end of this session guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you soon.